Well, we're going to handle that first because, as May said, the Saints came marching in to smoke the Cowboys 44 to 19. What went wrong, Mike? Everything. Everything. First start out, we walked through that damn smoke. <laughs> After that, everything went wrong. And, and the truth of it is, the Saints came in ready to play and they were prepared to run the ball down Dallas's throat. I mean, they, they couldn't stop the run. All, I swear, oh my God, oh my God, all I could think about was them jokers go, they go, they go shove Kamara right back oh, down. That's, my that's the first thing I know. That that's crazy, but I'll let it go. <laughs> but he oh. said, Zeke, <laughs> Alvin Kamara, I said, nah, they go, oh man, they finna, they gonna hand feed me this joker all Great. night long. I just yeah. knew it, you know. <laughs> so, hey, and he, and he always kills Dallas. He's all, he always had most of the time. He has a pretty good game against Dallas, man. But but that's who killed us. It was Alvin Kamara. He put it, he put it on us. And once everybody moved up, they they killed us on the back end also. Wow, mm. Mike getting crazy today. <laughs> Pause as well. Oh, let me tell you something, though. Let me say, let me say, I'm on the back end. Shit, there, the there's a difference too, and you can see it, right? Like. Like, okay, you see all these teams in the NFL, they're up and down. Like, the, the Dallas went week one up, some teams week one up, some week teams week two down. Now, every week, Kansas City get a hell of a challenge. Mm. And every week, they rise up to the challenge. This is, this is we, we clearly get to see the difference between champions and contenders. Like, we asked, is this team a contender? Yeah, they're a contender. But you can be contending all your damn life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that team over there is a champion. And every time you come in there and try to play them in Kansas City or play them anywhere, they play you like you stole something from their mammy. And I, that, I, that, hey, that, hey, that's just the difference. It's the difference between champions and contenders. We see it. Mm, I like that take. The dip pause. The difference between champions and contenders. Cam, I see you wearing the Saints colors. You you starting to, you starting to do what Stat does. That's actually underdog colors. So okay. if you want code Cam, okay. I, that's who pays me. <laughs> I, I wear the people who pay me colors. I'm, I'm just not jumping around wearing people's colors because they won this week. Use code Cam, code Mesa, code Stat. And these are the underdog fantasy colors until further notice. These are the colors that I will be wearing when I'm trying to promote something. These are not the Saints colors. Okay, that's, I their, stand that's, their, corrected. that's their thing. Yeah, yeah there's, the they, people, they got their thing. They, 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 got, got yeah, thing. I got the thing. I break bread with niggas. Yeah. <laughs> so not, when I break bread with niggas, I support their colors. So, no, these aren't the same colors. Uh, Maybe they are the same color, but I'm not wearing them for the Saints. You, you, hey, you support what supports you. There you go. There you go. There you go, Mike. Look at Mike trying to go to New, New Orleans Saints I, on him. No, that's, that's rule number one. I got to support what supports me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, man. Um, Yeah, look, Mike, you said it all. Last week was the money week for the Cowboys. Everybody was excited. They hugging on the field. Ezekiel was dead. Dak looked like he couldn't do no wrong. And you actually came on this show and said, Do you rather have Ezekiel Elliott over Kamara? You, 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 you actually he said that. You did say that. Yeah, you, I, I asked I, you who you rather have. I, I, I said in this situation, <laughs> I, put, I, I put some caveats over there. Now, y'all ain't pick all that up, but that ain't my fault. I did put that on the plate. Yeah. I put it on the plate. I said, Because of the relationship with Dang, I put a lot of other sprinklings on the plate. Y'all just left it and didn't eat it. You only ate the main course. So, you know, the reality is all of it was in there. The whole thing about it is that when you eat too much bread before you get a meal come, you full and don't want to eat the meal pause. So therefore I didn't want the appetizer. I didn't want the size. I just wanted the steak. Pause. You said Ezekiel <laughs> Elliott was your rabbi half <laughs> than Kamara. <laughs> and we thought you were bugging that. Come we, back, though, dog. I take that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, I didn't want all the other stuff that was on the plate. Um, so, look, that pedestrian game, he had 200 yards. He had more interceptions to touchdowns. 
Derek Carr, I told you, this summer year, Derek Carr always plays good. It doesn't matter who he plays for. It's the back end of the year that he's always stinking up. But, Mike, I don't really, I'm not going to dwell on this too much because nobody expected anything different <laughs> except for you and the people who live in Dallas and the crazy ass. Cowboy fans who think every year it's our year. I'm not going to paddle on because we're going to go through this several times during, the, the, year. during the year. This is going to happen several times <laughs> because you know why? That is, but that's what I'm saying. It don't necessarily have to be that several times during the year. So when I make an assessment and say, say this team can win, Dallas has the talent to win. The only reason it's like that seven times a year or several times a year or a few times a year because it's only been five. Now, don't start acting like it's been forever. You know, it's, it's, they've been 12 and five the last three years in a row. Not many teams have been that way. Things change in the playoffs. I know that. But but the only time, the only reason it's like that is because these jokers can't hold up that bearing. That's why I started talking about the difference between champions and contenders. And, and, and we got to get them over that hump. And that's not a skill thing. That's just a, a commitment made one man to the other. I'm going to get my job done and we're not losing this game. Let me ask you a better question because, you know, we always just take it too far and, and we're wrong for even asking if y'all are Super Bowl contenders. Let's make a more realistic question before we move on. Are y'all going to win the division? Mm. Well, it's, it, the division is going to be won by either Dallas or Philadelphia. I like both of those teams right now. That, now, now, when I see the day, when I see things like today, it's all the most. I said, "Yo, we're gonna win the division." Coming off of that, coming off of that, come on, man! You, I, I can't even say that. So they gotta show up and show something better than than, than what they get, what we saw today. I mean, they got thoroughly dominated, thoroughly dominated. It put me back in the mode of the Green Bay game in the playoffs. To be honest with you. You, there, there was no way to stop them, and the receivers then, once they got got the run game going and dominating the offensive line, they were running wide open. And it, it was just, it, yeah, it, it, that was bad. That was bad. So, no, no, I right now, I'll say it'll be it, it'll come down to between Dallas and Philadelphia at, at the end of the year. So your but, answer is no. no. So the answer, answer is no. no. That's what I was going to I'm saying, I'm yeah, saying yeah. I can't be for show, <laughs> not with them jokers playing <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's so what the, the answer, so the answer is, is no. no. It was just a yes or no answer <laughs> question, Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> playing like this, and you think they're gonna be above Saquon and them is is not gonna happen. But I, wait, wait. I, I think they got they had a good shot at winning the division because the division and them in Philadelphia are right there. We saw Philadelphia have some issues too last year. They went one and six down the stretch. You guys do remember that. Somebody, somebody got to win the division. And, and, and we know the Giants or Washington won't do it. So why, why is this not palatable for you to digest when I give you that? that that's that simple. What, what I'm saying is, Mike, you're the one making it un whatever word you just said unpalatable. We asked you a yeah. yes or no question. <laughs> are they going to win or are they not, not going to win? You made it unpalatable. <laughs> you could have just said, yeah, we going to win. <laughs> That's all you could have said. Cause let you me was uncertain, uh, Mike. Yeah, because not like, us. let me give you an example real quick. And I know we're going to the top of the top, the creme de la creme. But when the Patriots were, when Tom Brady played for the Patriots and Belichick was coaching, you didn't even... Even though they lost the division a few times when the Jets had a couple good years, it wasn't really a question about if they were going to win. You would just say yes. They didn't say, well, it's unpalatable. <laughs> they say, are the Patriots going to win the division? Yeah. Do you think the Jets going to win the division? No. Are the Bills going to win the division? No. Are the Dolphins going to win the division? No. Right now, all you had to do was say yes or no. Now, don't get me wrong. We love you here for your expertise and the words that you use because we learned a lot from you so far in the last two weeks. <laughs> Yeah. I love your vocabulary. But <laughs> but to me, if you ask me right now, I'm going to say Philadelphia. I'm not going to seesaw. I know it ain't going to be the Giants or the Commanders. I'm going with Philadelphia. So I don't have to see and all that because I'm not emotionally involved like you are in this division. You're real emotional and you got a right to be. You played in it. You're a legend in it. But these are not the players on the field when you guys were playing. So now it's unpatternable. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, these jokers not dumb. These jokers not dumb. It, 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 it is different. It, it's different. But they, in, in Kansas City, they got them dudes. They, that's what I'm saying. And that's what I want to see Dallas pick them. Just some of that not on my watch stuff. I, you know what I mean? You 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 go to anytime you go into Kansas City, you like you got to bring a stick to try to beat these boys because they, 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 t- hey, hey, Patrick Mahomes is saying not on my watch. You think you got a shot? Not on my watch. That's all. I I just want. I wish our guys, like you said, our guys now had that like our guys of old used to have that. And and, and maybe they can. So that's why I'm still holding in. Yeah, I'm hurt right now. I'm hurt, but I ain't out. I the only, well, look, Mike, it's the only so- problem I got, too, and, and Baltimore coming right around the corner, and they over it, too. Ain't nothing like a wounded dog. <laughs> 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 well, look, man, look, we got a lot. Listen, they added another game this year. It's a lot of football left, man. You got another 16 a weeks, a lot of four more weeks, man. So we'll see what happens. Hey, yo, check this out. If you like what you just seen, Hit the link and subscribe to the channel to see more of It Is What It Is. The Come and Talk to Me Network.